Hello and welcome to my UK Agile Coach channel and this is my review of Cucumber School. Uh, Cucumber is a behaviour driven development tool and process. Uh, it was originally written in Ruby, it's also available in Java and ported to some other languages. Uh, if you're interested about BDD, behaviour driven development, I've done other videos on that. Uh, but everyone who wants to write tests and have robust code and have uh, living, breathing documentation, um, then BDD is a great thing for you. So this is uh, Cucumber School was written by Matt Wynn. Uh, he was one of the developers within Cucumber Movement, and uh, he's done a really good job of packaging this all up. Uh, it's an amazing price of one hundred ninety nine dollars, in my opinion. Uh, I get paid a few times more than that per day when I'm on a project, so it's worth spending the time and training. Uh, it probably take about. Um, two days for an average person to go through thoroughly. Um, it's for developers and automatic testers mainly, and for them I'd give it 10 out of 10 or 11 out of 10. It's absolutely fantastic. If you're a non-techie, I would give this, I think you have to drop to about 6 out of 10 unfortunately. It's got great stuff in, but um, yeah, it's, it's very technical. 50% of uh, the screens are, are code. So back to the good stuff. Um, so the good stuff on this is there's 12 modules that take you on this journey um, all the way from a three amigo session with a product owner and a tester and a developer and you just discuss the product domain and the problem domain and the solution domain and uh, just how you, you then effectively get a bunch of uh, scenarios or user stories broken down uh, and then take you into how to put the scenarios in feature files and then use regular expressions to take their natural English uh, into more of an abstracted automatic code base level and step definitions. Uh, and then it, it guides you around how to do the automatic code base and then start driving the actual modeling of the real code base that's going to be the living working software that's going to answer the original uh, business requirements. Uh, and then it takes you in uh, through the nuances between um, these sort of acceptance criteria scenarios and then unit tests which would work uh, more at the developer level and the class level. So that's all good. Um, so yeah, go out there, get it, do it. Uh, you'll feel so much more confident about BDD and um, Gherkins and your automatic code bases if you do this. Uh, so in the future I'd love to see a product owner specific version come out because let's face it, um, it's a shame if all the developers and the automatic testers and the development team in general are trying to push BDD because effectively BDD is sort of 50-50 between the business and the IT. It's that sort of uh, it's that bridging language. It'd be nice and refreshing if actually there's a product owner version and sometimes you had uh, business teams coming to the development teams and saying, hey, let's, let's run BDD here because I feel it's going to give us such an uplift, uh, I won't be left playing whack-a-mole with a low quality buggy code or uh, uh, let's run BDD because I think it's going to deliver us the highest quality uh, product. So um, Matt Wynn actually does have uh, an app called Relish App which product owners can use so maybe wrapping it in something like that would be a good idea. Uh, the other thing I'd like to see is a JavaScript version. Uh, I, I, I tried to sign up for the JavaScript version. This is available only in Java or um, Ruby. Uh, they think I think they might be wanting to do a JavaScript version because there's a link on the website. But um, yeah, with the rise of MeanStack, um, and say half the projects I've been involved with in the last 12 months have been uh, had quite a lot of MeanStack involvement, uh, I would have liked to have seen a JavaScript version. And then... Um, you know, the sort of first rule, first law of JavaScript, if it can be coded in JavaScript, it will be coded in JavaScript, is a sort of truism uh, that I'm seeing coming to light. So uh, that'd be another great progression for this. But all in all, uh, thumbs up and uh, well done Matt Wynn and team uh, for getting this out the door. Good on you.